Yeah, okay, let's see. Omar says, Hi K, could you share your knowledge about prop trading? How can we pass challenges? Um, in order to pass challenges on the prop firms, you have to have the good risk management. That's for sure. More than taking profits, you have to have the good risk management. Because, for example, FTMO, uh, you can only lose 5% per day and 10% in 30 days as far as my memory is correct. So uh, you can't lose big. So if you don't know how to risk management on each trade, then you can, you can be out in one day. If you lose more than 5% in one day, then you lose challenge. So in terms of passing it, you have to have the good risk management. That's mandatory. And not only risking 2% every time, sometimes you may want to risk only 1%, or you have to adjust the risk per trade, and you have to be really good at exit timing. Exit timing with a loss, especially. Uh, otherwise, you can fail so easily. Take profit, um, meeting the target, let's say 10% target in 30 days, I think it's easy. Uh, once the market goes towards the direction, it's easy to make 10%. But the real question is whether you can keep surviving without having 5% per day or 10% per month drawdowns. So um, I am a trend follower and I'm not a scalper, so I can't really give, give, give advice to the scalpers, but um, as a trend follower, based on using Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, then I would say you have to be very uh, selective on which pair in which market to be in the trade. More than when you trade on the demo account, or more than when you trade with your real account, with your own money, when you challenge a prop firm, prop trading, then you have to be very selective on your pairs to trade, on your markets to trade. That's also for sure. Because I have never challenged the prop firms before, so I'm not really sure exactly uh, how it feels and how it's going, because I have no, ex no experience. But as far as I hear some stories from the GTS members, um, it's been psychology is also very tricky in the prop firm challenges because as the day gets, it gets closer to 30 days, let's say when you are in the 26th day, you only have 4 days to finish challenge. But let's say if you are only making 10%, you're not losing 10% yet, but if you're only winning 2%, then within the next 4 days, you have to earn another 8% to pass challenge, for example. Uh, and that might be a challenging. And that will affect psychology too. You want to take, whether you want to take more trades or you wait for the better timing to entry, to enter trades, enter markets within the next four days. But since we can't see future, we can't control the markets, we will never know if we have a nice opportunity within the next four days. If we don't have any opportunities, then we have to give up. Or we, we, you take a chance and see if you can pass it. You can generate another 8% return uh, for the next four days, for example. So uh, I think the real challenge is the risk management and also psychology management, for sure. Uh, so I trade based on my own fund, based on my own money, so I don't have that kind of psychology. I don't have the target, for example, every month, and I don't have the max drawdown per day per month because I trade by my own. So even if I have, let's say, 12% drawdown per month, if, if it's profitable uh, throughout the month, then it's fine with me. Or if I'm break even throughout the month, then that's fine with me. But uh, to pass challenge, it's not really good, right? You can't pass challenge with that. So 
you have to be selective in which pair, which market trade. Also, timings is important too. Which timing you trade, whether you're quiet, mar quiet market in summer, maybe not really good, good, good to challenge, but maybe towards the end of this year or uh, in early year, maybe between January to March, when the pairs may be active, uh, will be more suitable to pass challenge, for example. So that's my impression about uh, the challenge in the prop firm.